Hey, what is going on you guys? It is Mr. No Sleep here from Old School RuneScape and welcome to a brand new loot video for you all today. So today I bring you guys loot from 10,000 flesh crawlers and just like the Katable Pond and the Anku video, this was all done on the Iron Man account. Found in the stronghold of security on the second floor, or second level, whatever you want to call it, and released into the game July 4th, 2006, the Flesh Crawler has always been infamous for two things, dropping a lot of fire runes and dropping a lot of herbs. So I think killing 10,000 will definitely make for a cool loot video because we're going to get a lot of different herbs from them and also a lot of fire runes among many different other things. The gear for this video was a set of full obsidian as well as a dragon scimitar, Fury, Dragon Defender, and a Fire Cape. And for the first thousand kills or so, I was using a Berserker Ring imbued, but soon after, I did switch to a Ring of Wealth, and this uh, helped me take care of all the coin drops. And I was going to be tracking every single Flesh Crawler kill based on the amount of Strength XP, so 100 XP equals 1 kill, so 1 million XP equals 10,000 kills. None of the drops were tracked on Rune Light, but that's okay because everything was picked up, other than, of course, the, uh, you know, miscellaneous items like the Scepter Pieces, as well as the low tier herbs and occasionally I would leave a silver bar on the ground but for the most part the two items that did you know fill the inventory throughout the video would be the silver bars as well as the scepter pieces in the very beginning I did collect 20 scepter pieces just like we did in the Anku and the Katable Pond video and after I did reach 20 which uh, only took a few hundred kills here I then just started to collect the silver bars because you know at flesh crawlers there really isn't that much unnoted things uh, you know the only thing other than the silver bars and the scepter pieces would be the ashes and the iron ore and I don't really think either of those are worth picking up seeing as they also have a noted iron ore drop so that'll definitely make up for all the loose iron ore on the ground. Nice thing about flesh crawlers is they're only 25 HP so a lot of the time you can one hit these things and just to ensure that my dragon skimmy would be hitting a lot I did want to wear the max strength bonus that I could on this account which explains the gear and also I would always bring a super set with me is super strength, super defense, and super attack, as well as recharging my prayer after every single time that I would bank an inventory worth of stuff, and using preserve from the start to the end of the video, so all those boosted stats would be there for twice as long. And that will increase your kills per hour, you know, the higher you hit, the uh, faster you kill them, and the faster you kill them, the more kills you do get, so it would make sense to bring a super set. And if you can't afford one, combat potion is always a nice option. And obviously, if you're dealing with a monster that drops a lot of herbs and especially a decent amount of gems. I wouldn't call it a lot, but it does add up over time. You're always going to want to be bringing the two important items that, you know, we see in so many of these loot videos, the herb sack and of course the gem bag. Now, although these flesh crawlers are free to play and free to players can kill them, those two items are members only and they're really useful here. So if you don't have them, I wouldn't really come here. I mean, you still can. And obviously the lower levels that kill these flesh crawlers for XP, they're not going to have a herb sack or anything like that which just essentially means you're going to be banking a lot more since you're going to be picking everything up individually. And as you can see in the inventory, I was always bringing just a couple lobsters uh, every single time I would bank, but food is really not necessary here, especially if you're high combat. I would say if you're low combat with low defense, you know, feel free to bring like pies or cakes or something, but these flesh crawlers max hit is only a one, which is surprisingly low. I was really uh, surprised to actually see that on the wiki, but since they don't hit high, you really don't have to worry too much about bringing any food food here. And if you are a lower level and you want to train here or you just like the drops that these flesh crawlers give, then there is a safe spot for you and that can be found all the way to the southwest of the room right against the door. And there is an aggression timer here and I should know how long it is considering I just killed 10,000 but of course I'm not actually sure of it. I'm assuming that it's somewhere around uh, 10 to 15 minutes and that makes this really semi AFK because although you have a lot of drops to pick up because you're going to be killing them so quickly, the fact that you don't have to manually click on the flesh crawlers uh, for the first part when you get in here really makes this uh, laid back and that was why I was able to be on multiple accounts throughout this video and for those of you who are safe spotting that's good for you too because uh, when you want to start picking up the drops that you get when you're using the door to kill them as soon as that aggression timer runs out they will stop attacking you permanently until you run out of sight of the room and for this all I did was exit via the southwest entrance then I would run all the way to the west until the flesh crawler room completely disappeared 
disappeared from my minimap, and then I would run back and the aggression timer would restart, and this running back and forth really only took less than 15 seconds. So I would say that other than picking up all the drops that these flesh crawlers have, this really is an AFKable monster to kill. And at peak hours, I was getting upwards of 400 to 500 kills an hour, which means, you know, if you're a higher level, that this can be 40 to 50k strength XP, range XP, attack XP, whatever skill you are training here uh, per hour, as well as the fact that you're not losing any money because, you know, we really don't need many supplies to kill these things since they're such low level, and all the drops are stackable, notable, and easily bankable. So that makes Flesh Crawlers a pretty decent monster at such a low combat to kill for many different reasons. Certainly more popular than Katable Pawns. And you'll also notice that I did have about 5,000 Heartlanders and a decent amount of silver bars in my bank before I started this video, so that's no big deal. I was able to just take a screenshot before I started so that none of those drops would get mixed up. And speaking of drops, you know, the Flesh Crawlers really do reward you with a decent and a nice variety amount of runes. They do have a 1 in 5 drop rate of 3 to 12 body runes, a 1 in 25 drop rate of 3 to 9 dust runes, a 1 in 50 drop rate of 42 fire runes, and of course a 1 in 50 drop rate of 5 nature runes. Now 5 nature runes these days is 1000 GP exactly, and although fire runes are so cheap, 42 of them is 210 GP, and with these drops being stackable, it's uh, really nice to see them grow over time, not banking them a single time throughout this video, all at the bottom of the inventory there. And alongside the runes, of course, you have the noted iron ore, which does stack up over time. I would say the coins add up too, but they really don't. I think like, you know, 5,000 kills into the video, I was close to almost 11k, so coins really not the greatest here, even though they are dropped commonly. And there was also occasions where I did receive a uh, tooth and loop keys, which are both 1 and 3200 according to a ring of wealth, and even one occasion where I received a shield left half, which uh, I always say this in pretty much all my loot videos, but you never do expect that uh, from any monster in this game, and that is 1 in 12,000, so my RNG was truly on point at these flesh crawlers. You can also expect some pretty useless rune javelin drops uh, coming to you in a quantity of 5, and that's 1 in 3200, so really nothing to gloat about. Rune spear as well, something that you can see here, I virtually hit the drop table on all of those items, and that is uh, 1 in 6,000, so was always nice to receive a unique because, you know, there wasn't that much banking going on, just picking up the ashes and, of course, the silver bars, so. And I was also fortunate enough to hit 19 million HP XP on this account, uh, slowly nearing 18 million strength as well at this point. I didn't want to do attack or defense because I'm still waiting to get those to 99, uh, trying to do those on a different video, don't really want to do them just yet, so I guess we're, you know, going to continue the road to 200 mil strength XP just from all these loot videos on this Iron Man. And some people are curious, uh, just, you know, what the future holds on this account, and right now, I'm really not too sure. I think I'm going to be doing Chaos Druids next. Kind of stick with the lower level monsters, because I don't really do too many videos on the easy, uh, quick killing monsters. Really just been sticking with bosses and PvP stuff lately. And there, ladies and gentlemen, is the rarest drop that you can get from a Flesh Crawler, and that is the Dragon Spear. With a Ring of Wealth on, which, of course, I had one on for this video, uh, it's 1 in 16,250, and had I not been wearing a Ring of Wealth, uh, and I did receive this drop, it is a 1 in 273,000. Such a staggering number, I know. It's like 30 age odds right there. Maybe not that high, I'm not too sure. But anyway, it's very rare. So yeah, it's like my third Dragon Spear on this account. Multiple shield left halves as well. So, you know, really stacking up these uniques uh, from all these videos. After this is complete, I look forward to doing a lot of herb lore with all the herbs that I did get. Uh, here we are at the last inventory, as a matter of fact. And to top things off, you know, Jagex giving me the cherry on top of all the whipped cream. Another shield left half. So yeah, I will take it. Don't need to repeat the drop rate. I think I've said it like 10 million times throughout these videos. But yeah, it's nice to see that. And with that being said, loot from 10,000 flesh crawlers has been completed. It's a pretty fast one. Uh, 400 to 500 kills an hour at this level. I'm sure it'd be much lower if you were lower combat. You know, you kill them slower. Uh, but overall, if you do play quite a bit, you can get this done in less than two days. Reason this took two weeks to get up was mainly just because there was no need to rush it. Uh, Flesh Crawlers isn't something, you know, that's really exciting. It's just kind of standard, so just kind of took my time editing this one. Uh, overall, though, we did get 197 silver bars, 104 ashes, 5 loop keys, 1 tooth key, 2 shield left halves, 1 dragon.
Dragon Spear, and two Rune Spears. That's it as it goes for the Uniques. Looks like we did walk away with just about 26.8k in GP, so Ring of Wealth, eh, probably not required here. The overall loot from 10,000 Flesh Crawlers, looking just at the herbs first, you know, all the normal drops, 3.7 mil in just the herbs, and then you add on the Iron Ore and the Runes, as well as the Gems, and you get just about 5 mil. With the Bars and the Ashes, you know, still just shy of 5.1 mil. So now we go ahead and we add the Nature Talismans and all the other Uniques, and the total price check from 10,000 Flesh Crawlers comes out to be 5.3 million, 21,160. 5 mil in Normal Drops, 300k in Uniques, a lot of Herbs, uh, translates to just over 300 Prayer Pots, 240 Super Attacks, 100 Super Strengths, and 200 Stamina, so very useful uh, Herbs for an any Iron Man account, or if you're looking to make some profit, these Flesh Crawlers can be good for you too. So with all that being said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for your time today. I will see you in about three days with a brand new video, and until then, Mr. No Sleep, out.